Okie dokie, here I am, and what I'm working on is the expected value of the sample variance. The expected value we're hoping equals the population variance, well it's supposed to, right? So that's um, sigma squared, and we'll start by writing out the equation for the variance, which is the x sub i. x sub i is each individual value of whatever your variable is, subtracting from it the mean and squaring it and divide by n minus 1. Hopefully you understand why we do that, otherwise we'll, if we just subtract the mean from each value and summate it, we'll end up with 0, which is not what we want, because we know there is variability. And first thing we do, you see, is that I subtracted, I, I pulled out the the denominator, since this is the expected value, and that's just a constant, so it's n minus 1 to the negative 1 power. That's just a, another way of saying 1 over n minus 1. So I pull that out, and then I just expand this, this square right here. So I get x minus mean times x minus mean. With n minus 1 to the negative 1 times the expected value of, well here we're going to, we're just going to go ahead and um, multiply this out. So if I like died, if I used a black marker to fill up my bald spot on my head, that would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Then it would look like I don't have a bald spot. Hey, yeah, that's right. That's a good idea. Ba -ba -ba. Not so. So, okay, so let's just keep on working on this bad boy here. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Oh, that's right, I made a mistake, sorry. It's my parrot in the background. I don't know if you can hear him, Piper. He's just like speaking gibberish. I think he watches too much TV. Piper, shut up. Okay, so having a little fun there, right? Watch, there's some fun stuff that happens here in this um, calculation. Piper wants to be an internet star. He's actually speaking mathematics while I'm going. Oh, look what I did there. See, I pulled out an n, because if you know the equation for the mean is summation of the xi over n, so if I just multiply n by the mean, that's the same thing, right, as a summation of the xi. That is clever. Clever boy. And that last term, I do the, <laughs> the mean squared times sigma 1. It sounds kind of weird, like why am I... Why am I doing that? Because really, this is a constant, and we're gonna, it's just n times. So sigma of 1 from i equals 1 to n just equals n. This is a cute little thing to do. I think it's cute. Look at that. we got 2n mean squared minus n times the mean squared. Ooh, so that looks like we can do something with that. Hey, Philip, what do you, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it made me happier. Everything looks good. Looks good, right? Let's see. Mm-hmm. You can do that. Yes, carry the one. There's no one, but I'm just, I just like saying that. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. There you go. So we had minus two and mean squared plus n mean squared is just minus n mean squared, right? Everything looks good? Yep, there you go. I kind of like doing these narrations. You can do like post hoc commenting. Distribute that expectation. Okay, now what? Hmm. Okay, okay. 
Piper, shut up. You know, having a parrot's an interesting, it's an interesting endeavor. They're, they're like friends for life. It's like having another child. It'd be better if I wasn't in the way of the writing, but I'll get out of the way in a second. There you go. See what I did there? Aha, aha. The expected value of a sum is the sum of the expectation. You should know that. Now here's something, a couple things that we know. We know that the variance is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. So we're going to use that and do some substitution here. Because in our, oh, let me get rid of that. Right, because that was expected value of x squared is the same as mu, the expected value of x is, is mu, so that's mu squared, so let's just um, rearrange that so we can, we rearrange it so we can put that in our equation. There you go, that's what I need, that's one of them, right? Yep. Mm, running out of space, right? Yeah, I'm getting tired, so I need to like a, it's a lot of writing, huh? Sometimes my students get like all, I don't know, they get tired from all this, this work. You just can't just solve a problem. It takes effort and time and energy to do so. Aha, I forgot that n minus one. I was wondering if you caught that. You probably did, because you're so, you're so clever. on that side what's the difference there you go all right now what mm -hmm. we got that one we also need another there's another piece we need So this is basically the this is basically the uh, standard error of the mean. If you think of the sampling distribution of the mean, right? Sigma squared over n. Sometimes you see the sigma over square root of n. If you're thinking, well, actually, the sigma over the square root of n is the sampling distribution of the mean. So we could just rearrange that and solve like we did before. The expected value of the mean is mu. So again, we have mu squared. There we go. So we've got, now we have both of these. We're going to resubstitute the. We're going to substitute these into our equation right there. So we've got. Expected value of mm-hmm mm-hmm mm-hmm. So we're just going back to the beginning with the expected value of the sample variance. So we substitute this in for the expected value of x squared, right? And then now we have le minus, excuse me n times this little guy here, which is sigma squared over n plus mu squared. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've got that n minus 1 to the negative 1. So again, when you, you're summing across these constants, you get n sigma squared plus n mu squared minus, well, those n's cross out, you get sigma squared plus, minus, excuse me, n mu squared 
L of S times N minus one to the negative one. Oh, this is gonna be so beautiful. You're gonna love me for it. Check this out. These bad boys cancel out right there, right? And sigma squared minus sigma. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love it. This is awesome. Look at that. Isn't that look? Oh my God! Look at that. That's what these little guys cancel out here, and we are almost done. Well, I'm I'm happy. And there we go, we got our desired result. Yes, we have proven that the expected value of the sample variance is the population variance indeed. Thank you very much.